यहाँ पे वो सिंप्लिसिटी और वो वेल ऑर्गेनाइज्ड स्ट्रक्चर्ड तरीका दिख रहा है विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी वन प्रिपेयरिंग तो आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और बहुत ही रेलिवेंट चीज बोली है जो भी स्टूडेंट्स देख रहे हैं इसको इफ दे एबल टू यूज प्रॉब्लम फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ वट यूर सेंग देन आई थिंक यू नो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द जॉब इज ऑलरेडी डन नाउ दे जस्ट हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट Hi everyone my name is Anujindal welcome to my channel today i have shorya sharma sharma with me who has cleared rbi examination 2021 in his third attempt if i'm not wrong and it has been a very uh, you know difficult journey for him as a student he has had a lot of failures he has uh, some successes also in the past but i think this is a big one that is achieved finally and uh, before starting with the actual interview i would want ki shorya apne bare mein Uh, जो भी हमने डिस्कस किया ब्रीफली बताएं सो दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट हिज बैकग्राउंड एंड देन वील गो एट हाय सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू हैव अ डिस्कशन सो आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम आईआईटी बीएचयू इन 2014 आफ्टर दैट आई प्रिपेयर फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज गेव फोर मेंस इन सिविल सर्विसेज बट कुडंट क्लियर एंड फ्रॉम 2018 आई हैव स्टार्टेड गिविंग अदर एग्जाम्स सो आई गेव आरबीआई इन 2018 I gave RBI in 2019, but both of the times I couldn't clear uh, prelims with margin. So I had prepared for mains, but I couldn't clear uh, prelims with just one mark or by just two marks. And uh, then uh, by the time I got selected in SBI in 2019, so I joined SBI in January 2022. And this time I prepared along with my job, and uh, luckily I could clear. And thankful to all the people and God for that. Amazing, amazing. Uh, first question, Mira. I think both expected sir question here, which uh, I believe a lot of students, majority of the aspirants would want to know. How did you prepare along with your job? Because that is a very important, a simple yet very important question that needs to be answered again and again. So, what was your strategy, or what kind of routine did you follow that made sure that you could reach the interview and clear it? Yes, sir. So, I tried to keep it. Uh, very very simple this time my preparation and to the point so for this i have tried to weed out the irrelevant stuff from the relevant stuff like what to study because there is no dearth of information in today today's world we have uh, many coachings we have many materials and i would like to say that all are important because some give you uh, some coachings are good in some material some coachings are good in some material hmm. so you have to you have to judge and you have to Read out relevant. Uh, you have to read out irrelevant from the relevant. For this, syllabus and PYQ are your guiding sources, mm. and as well as your teachers and mentors. Because analyze previous year questions and uh, syllabus, uh, it nobody has uh, all the time in the world to analyze them. So you can take help of your teachers and mentors. What they are saying, also previous year topics. What what are their views on previous year questions and syllabus to to know what is relevant. and uh, by using this as the core strategy i think one can clear along with my job i tried to take out time every day 4 uh, hours is uh, like 4 to 5 hours you can take out in ideal case with a job and uh, but minimum 2 3 hours you can take out also you can make uh, use of videos in various phases like i will tell you in which phase which videos will be helpful so you can make use of videos also mm-hmm. so i think uh... Uh, did you make sure that you were consistent in the preparation? कि भाई रोज दो तीन घंटे तो निकालने ही निकालने हैं किसी तरह से पढ़ने के लिए. Yes, uh, I tried to do that, and uh, maybe you will have to you have you will have to uh, like manage your dinner <laughs> as well for that. But but you have to manage small small things. I I took the name of dinner because I used to skip dinner. I used to take evening snacks so mm-hmm. that my time could be saved. So that. Like you have to make a small adjustment, which hmm. can be beneficial for you in in the overall process. Hmm. But uh, at the same time, you have to keep your mind and body healthy. But hmm. yeah, that's the that's the key. Make a small hmm. adjustments, you will be able to take out time. Hmm. ठीक है. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, phase one से start करते हैं. I'm sure कि तुम्हारे पास काफी छोटे छोटे अच्छे points हैं regarding phase one and phase two. So what was your main sources for preparation and how did you go about it? 
Yes, so I, I have, I have not been able to clear prelims in 2018 and 2019. And in 2018, I missed quant cutoff and in 2019, I missed the overall cutoff by two months. Hmm. So I realized that I have been complacent in phase one. Hmm. And uh, also one factor which influenced me was that uh, I was distrib- my preparation was distributed. Like uh, I was focusing on UPSC also, other exams also. Hmm. So I, I got complacent. Like, Okay, this this I will be able to clear phase one, but mm-hmm. that was my mistake. In this competitive world, uh, no exam is easy or no exam is hard. Every exam is competitive, mm-hmm. so we have to take it in that respect. We can't be we can't take lightly any phase. So that's why that was my mistake, and that is my learning that don't be complacent in any phase. And this time I was able to score very well in phase one exam, and I cleared the cutoff. Like my marks were above. Like more than 30 marks, marks were about cut off. So for uh, for phase one uh, QRE, uh, whatever portion that you may be lacking, try to cover it through videos. Try to cover it through uh, any uh, sources that you have. But in the end, you have to come to the mocks. You have to come to the practice. QRE is all about practice. So you can build your concepts using videos, but in the end, you have to do it through mocks and time based test. That's the key. And uh, regarding GA, I would like to say that being a working candidate, I have utilized videos extensively. So to keep myself healthy, I used to go for morning walk. And uh, every day I used to listen, listen to RBI 247, which your channel has the series, which has PIB series it has, and it has morning tales. So my morning used to be with morning tales and with RBI 247. So that helped me a lot because because anything which goes in your mind and uh, which you are listening to, you are able to remember better. So also you have to do GA with magazines, through magazines, which are available of various coachings. They are free by all the coaching. So you you have to complete them extensively, but videos help to remember the content. Mm-hmm. For GA, apart from videos and magazines, magazines you can highlight or you can take out the relevant stuff and make it in your Evernote. Uh, uh, you have to in the end do mocks also and uh, do the mocks chapter wise, topic wise. That helps to build your confidence uh, because if you have completed a topic, you can again look uh, again to the mock and see that what uh, what you have learned. Last point which I would like to say here and which helped me, helped me in UPSC prelims also that uh, see prelims uh, objective, UPSC prelims objective and this GA RBI is very extensive. People get confused, like how can we remember so much and how, how we learn so much. So one point which has always helped me is that uh, define your sources first and just stick to them. Mm. That I will be doing four months magazine and but have a belief on yourself and commit to yourself that whatever questions come from that, I will do it correctly. Mm. I think that is enough. I think mm-hmm. that is enough to clear these uh, cutoff based uh, initial preliminary exams mm-hmm. because you have to just clear. So just define your sources and stick to them and uh, commit to yourself that not, you will do nothing wrong if anything comes from that. Mm. So yeah, the, that's my strategy. For what I can actually figure out and what I can actually, you know, I've been talking to a lot of aspirants, you know, clear kia, aspirants who interview ke baad clear nahi kar paaye. And uh, I can I can say this with uh, you know utmost honesty that your preparation seems to me as very clear, very well organized, very structured, and mm-hmm. I think that is the key. That is that is fifty percent of the work done right there, and that has probably come because of the failures that you have had in the past. Some mm-hmm. failures, some successes, or usse jo bhi learning aaye hai. I think what you said in the starting ki I wanted to keep it simple. So, here is the simplicity and the well organized, structured tarika dikh hai, which is very important for anyone who is preparing. So, yeah. I think this is something very important and very relevant. If you have students, dekh rahe hai, isko, uh, if they are able to use probably 50% of what you are saying, then I think uh, you know majority of their job is already done. Now, they just have to implement it. Let's move on to phase 2 because I am certain that phase 2 will be very good. Uh, Go on, please. Yes. So phase two preparation, uh, I would like to start with the objective part. 
GA you have to prepare with phase one because you don't have time much time and uh, better to prepare it with phase one and the material is same. If you will analyze, you will know the material same. Good thing this time was that phase one has become like phase two. Mm -hmm. So the phase one question, GA questions were actually ASI phase two questions, which is a very good thing. And if you have done your phase two ASI preparation in the beginning only, then you would have got very good marks. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that is the thing. Second thing I would like to say. Uh, for phase one GA also and for phase two ESI also, your accuracy will matter. So in that in that sense, you should be very confident of what you have studied. And uh, I had focused more on accuracy in phase one GA also. I had uh, like I had attempted just forty questions out of eighty questions, but my marks were around thirty eight, thirty nine. Mm -hmm. So that. Maybe due to normalization, but I'm just stressing on the point that you should know what you have studied. That comes from your limited sources and uh, revision, and your commitment that you will do nothing wrong if anything comes from that. So that has been my key, the key to for ESI and FM objective part also. And uh, coming on to the subjective part, ESI. Subjective part, I will start with FM. So FM, we have a static. Uh, a static subjective part is mostly static. So you have to complete it uh, from the material which is available. In this sense also, I would say that your three sources are syllabus, PYQ, and your teachers and mentors who have analyzed those uh, PYQ and syllabus to guide you like what questions can come, what is relevant, what is not relevant. So take help of these three. You will know what is relevant and what is not relevant, and you will study that. You will revise that. You will make notes of that. So that is the that is the key actually. It is very simple, but you have to do again and again that only. You have to again and again come back to syllabus. You have to again and again come back to your teacher. You have to again and again come back to your PYQ. So that is the key actually. So for FM also know what is relevant and uh, cover it from any material that you can think of like. Like you, something you will find in one coaching material good, something you will find in another coaching material good, uh, uh, comprehensive regard, and some things you will have to Google it also. So use these three uh, sources as also there are PDFs available of many foreign authors for management also. Uh, you can use them, and uh, yeah, that is the thing. So you by analyzing flavors and PYQ, you will know that definitions are important. You will know that concepts are important. You will know that you have to cover all the keywords mentioned in the flavors. Mm -hmm. So you have, I can tell twenty things, but that is not the point. Mm -hmm. You have to know it by using syllabus, PYQ, and te your teachers and mentors. Mm -hmm. So that that is the key. And uh, uh, coming to uh, yeah, the writing part, use keyboard, buy a keyboard that is that we get in exam, and mm -hmm. type it using that keyboard. One thing I would like to point here that uh, word limit it's too high, mm -hmm. and uh, one of my friends. Uh, He has written just near the word limit in all the answers. He has got, he has gotten through, and I have also gotten through. I have not written uh, near to the word limit. I just wrote what I thought was relevant. So I wrote to the point, and that's that, and I move forward. So I didn't stretch myself to write uh, too much, hmm. and uh, so that's what I do. We will know uh, with marks like uh, what state the RBI is preferring. Mm. But uh, both strategies have worked, and uh, yes, both of us are through. So we know that both strategies have worked. Mm. Uh, coming to the English part, don't miss out English, and English is very important. Uh, I had given my SEBI mains just before RBI prelims. I was not prepared for the English part, and I missed my whole essay in that. So I just I could just complete precy and comprehension. I couldn't. Uh, I just wrote two lines in it. So that was a lesson for me, and uh, that helped me in RBI. Me, I had prepared for English by that time, and uh, thankfully I could complete it and write it in extensively. Use uh, various videos, strategy videos which are available. Uh, Anu Chandra sir has also put forward many videos. They are they are on his channel. Uh, use the strategies for PSC for the uh, comprehension for the uh, essay. Don't take it lightly. Look Can't just copy answers from comprehension. You can't just write what is it in passage in parenthesis. You have to have a strategy for that. Use videos and strategy which is already there on YouTube and practice it. That will help you. So uh, that is the key to English. Uh, so yeah, that is the thing. Uh, overall, I would like to say uh, competition may get intense in the coming year because 
this was a new pattern this time so one cannot slack in subjective part also mm-hmm. and uh, yes so prepared it accordingly one thing which can help this time or in coming years can be that uh, i think rbi is moving away from uh, the objective questions which you, you which used to come earlier like in other bank exams that are not conceptual that are very fact based and they like from sports and all but now i think rbi is focusing on what matters it is taking up economic data it is asking you what uh, schemes uh, and it is focusing on economic survey on budget which are the things which actually matter so that is very good uh, one can avoid uh, other irrelevant and focus on these core economic and finance stuff which is going on in the news amazing so, amazing yeah, i think the, i think very well said uh, you have organized everything beautifully and uh, that is again i'm repeating it i can, I can repeat it another 100 times that is probably one of, one of the major keys of your success uh, let's come on to the interview now because you have had a lot of uh, gaps in your after your education and then you started working in sbi they might have asked you questions from sbi so what was the theme of the uh, overall interview and what learnings can you send out to other aspirants jo ki interview se pehle kafi confused hote hain ya ghabrate hain ki yaar kya prepare kare aur kya na kare yes so i would start with the preparation part and then i would move on to what was asked in my interview hmm. so uh, so prepare, preparing for interview i started with the uh, previous transcripts which were already there on various telegram groups and online also so i noted down questions and i organized them into groups like what are profile based questions technical questions i prepared try to prepare answer for that and uh, yeah that, that was my preparation then i started giving mocks and i realized that uh, people who are taking mocks can ask you questions which you would not have foreseen like i was working in a, a semi urban branch rural branch so many questions in my mocks were asked from that uh, and i didn't know about it so that is a very good thing take mocks because experienced people will be able to take out questions will be able to generate questions which you will not which you might not foresee so that helped me a lot and uh, thankfully uh, <laughs> so i was low on confidence before interview on 5 on 16th august was my interview on 15th august i gave interview uh, with the uh, job platform and uh, there were two two people who interviewed me that me and that went great i got the comment that my interview is going to be great and uh, so that was that helped me a lot in the end because in the end it's all it's, it's my game so your confidence if it is boosted in the last few days will help you a lot hmm. coming coming to the interview i realized that i had prepared from my profile i had prepared uh, current affairs which was going on and i had prepared what was being asked in mocks but in interview it is entirely different so you might have prepared n number of things but you will be asked uh, x y z which you which you wouldn't have prepared so you have to be ready for that and uh, uh, in this scenario i i would like to say one of my friends yash we have been friends for over a decade and uh, both of us prepared together for the interview so every day in the morning we used to have half an hour 20 minutes talk and we used to ask each other questions and uh, we used to try to keep it very simple and to the point so that that can help you because you will be ready for questions which you would not have prepared and you can speak well even on those questions so along with mock if you can speak regularly uh, with anybody on the selected topics that will help you hmm. and another point for interview that i would like to say is biodata and we get to prepare our biodata when after prelim then mains is just coming and you 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 are, you are in double mind that whether to prepare for mains or whether to think for extra points for your biodata hmm. so better better if you prepare it early before even sitting for the exam hmm. and uh, then you can because you are not able to remember points in that time and your questions will be from your biodata so hmm. prepare it with all sincerity hmm. consult your teachers mentors toppers other people that you know because they will know what questions will be asked from them hmm. so prepare the data with biodata with all sincerity and uh, with all wisdom that you can gather from all hmm. the sources hmm. 
So now coming to the interview, my interview was mostly based on my job experience mm-hmm. in SBI, mm-hmm. and uh, mostly all the technical questions were on that only, and I I hadn't prepared for those questions. That doesn't mean I hadn't prepared. I had prepared around hundred to hundred questions, but my question bank didn't include those questions which were asked. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you because this will happen. so uh, you have to there what will have what will actually help you is your uh, daily preparation and also your work experience if you have actually worked and thought about it you will be able to answer it another type of questions that will be asked will be your profile based questions you can prepare them those are actually on expected lines and my, all my profile questions i had prepared them and uh, and i uh, um i gave the answer which i had already prepared so there was nothing new in that scenario mm. another point i would like to say that uh, for interview you can use all the sources sources means your father your friends your work colleague mm. so here i used all my sources all the people around me and that helped me a lot so for sbi based questions i called up my colleague and asked him like what what shall i answer because your mind is filled up at that point of time with information you can't think of answers to profile based question so somebody can just answer it in one or two lines and that would be a better answer hmm. so regarding questions uh, regarding your father's profile ask your father to prepare two minute speech that that will help you a lot uh, instead of wasting your one hour two hour on what your father does better to tell him that you just prepare two minute speech for me and that will help so this time i tried to use the people around me in a positive sense and that helped me a lot uh, for interview mm-hmm. uh, and just remember uh, i'm just saying interview marks are not out so you never know what marks you get at i can't say my interview was good or bad mm-hmm. uh, till now i can't say that uh, once marks are out only then you can judge like what went well what went wrong mm-hmm. so yeah that's it sorry i think uh, <laughs> while you were speaking you remind me of another student who cleared last year uh, i'm certain you will if you get posted in mumbai you will probably meet him he's also posted in mumbai at present his name is pallav so he had a very similar way of studying very organized very structured simplifying a lot of things yes he went through interviews in the past and did not clear in the past but uh, uh, we kept on talking with each other me and pallav and he kept making changes aur wohi similar cheez mujhe yahan par dikh rahi hai so all the aspirants his interviews already there on youtube last year dala tha to wo similarity aap bhi dekh sakte ho to kahin na kahin what i'm trying to come at is that this works so consistently agar students nikal rahe hain aise simplify karke apni preparation ko just like you did just like your friend yash did just like last year someone that i'm saying did that to kahin na kahin agar aap ye karenge it might work in your favor so i think shorya you beautifully brought out all the points i did not have to ask you anything <laughs> i just gave it all to you and you have uh, brought out the entire preparation very smoothly jo bhi tumhara plan tha wo sab bata diya before finishing anything that you would want to say uh, to the aspirants any message that you want to convey to the to the aspirants of the future yes uh, so i would like to say that uh, um, it's a different journey for different people yes. some clear at initial stages some clear some take time I just want to say that whatever may be your result, if you get through an in initial stage, if you don't get through, if you don't clear your prelims, if you don't get through an in interview, or you get through when you are just you when you are just turned thirty. So the thing is, it's your journey. Don't compare with it, compare it with anybody. And also, we have to remember that uh, uh, things. things happen at their own time yeah so uh, in the end i was just praying that that uh, like in the end you can just what will happen so things will happen at their time we can just prepare and uh, we can just give our best and uh, yeah, and we can we can be just we can't be so boastful that we have cleared in, in initial time because many exams i could clear uh, very easily in in my first attempt uh, with very much less preparation so mm. 
I after that I thought that I got overconfident hmm. and uh, that uh, that actually uh, that was not good for my future hmm. so I think that even if you clear in initial initial stages or even if you clear prelims in initial in your initial years don't get overconfident as well as don't get disheartened even if you are even if it is your last attempt just hmm. give it exam with the with the with the way it should be given exam is just exam it is a very materialistic thing i don't think there is any thing like exam is at the it's just that one who knows what has been asked is okay i think there is some kind of an error Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, you were saying something. Can you just repeat the last sentence? Uh, yeah, where so you were talking? Yeah. So I will just say that don't take exams to your heart. Yes. And uh, use your mind to keep it very materialistic and very to the point. Like whatever is being asked, I will prepare for that and leave the rest. Hmm. So just keep it that. And whatever happens, we have to accept that and we have to move forward. So take everything. thing in a positive manner and we will do well everybody will do well in their life if mm. they if we do that i think that's a beautiful point that you brought about uh, remaining humble uh, through your life at least through these years is not a sign of weakness i think it's a sign of your strength your inner strength right. so that's very important thanks a lot shorya it was amazing talking to you जैसे कल बहुत मजा आया था यश से बात करके आई थिंक आई हैड अ ब्यूटीफुल टाइम लिसनिंग टू यू नॉट टॉकिंग विद यू आई थिंक लिसनिंग टू यू वाज मोर फन बहुत अच्छा लगा ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर फ्यूचर यू गोइंग टू हैव अ वंडरफुल टाइम इन आरबीआई एंड डू स्टे इन टच इफ पॉसिबल इट्स ऑलवेज फील्स ब्यूटीफुल टू स्टे इन टच विद द ओल्डर एस्पिरेंट्स थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच अनु सर एंड यू हैव बीन अ great help various initiatives on your website on your website have been of great help keep doing that you are doing a great work and thank you for all the help which we could get thanks a lot day. thanks a lot and congratulations again bye bye thank you thank you